Hello, I'm Mr Firth and I need your help today as we learn to add and subtract within 10. You can use lots of things to help you add and subtract. Counters, number lines and even your fingers. Let's start with addition. Addition means adding one thing to another to find out how many you have in total. Here we have three counters and here we have four counters. Let's bring the counters together to see how many there are in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three plus four equals seven. Well done. Now that you've aced addition, let's try subtraction. That's taking away or finding the difference. Shall we use a number line this time? Brilliant idea. Together, using the number line, let's work out eight minus five. First, let's find eight on the number line. When you're subtracting, the answer becomes smaller. This means we need to subtract by moving to the left of the number line. Let's count back five and see which number we reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So eight minus five equals three. Nice work. I think you're ready for the next challenge. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. That means they're opposites. For example, two plus five equals seven. The opposite of that is subtraction. So seven minus five equals two. Number bonds are two numbers that, when added together, make another number. What's extra useful is that because addition and subtraction are, that's right, inverse operations. That means if you know which two numbers add to make another number, you'll be able to use that fact to help you subtract too. Let's have a go. This time we're going to use a bar to help us. What do I add to five to make ten? Let's look at this bar. Five out of the ten squares have been coloured in. So how many more do we need to be coloured in to make ten? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So five plus five equals 10. Now that we know five plus five equals 10, how can we work out 10 minus five? Remember, subtraction is the opposite of addition. So if five plus five is 10, then 10 take away five, must be five. Awesome job. We're on our roll team. It's time to answer some addition and subtraction questions by yourself. I know you'll be brilliant. I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to either show me the answers on your fingers or shout the number out loud. Let's go. What is four plus five? Four plus five makes nine. Fantastic. Let's try another one. What is 10 take away nine? Show or shout out the answer. 10 take away nine equals one. Last one. What do I add to eight to make 10? Can you work this one out? You can use your fingers or a number line to help you. Ready? To make 10, I need to add two. So eight plus two is 10. There are lots of ways to help you add and subtract. Just keep practicing and you'll become a whiz in no time. Why not find different objects around your house to practice adding and subtracting? You could even write down all the number bonds to 10 and chant them while jumping to help you remember them. For more.